TP, it's been a minute since you've been out there. Just how did it, how much did you feel just to get back out there with your guys and, and, and be, be playing again? I felt good to actually, I mean, I've been out with my guys in, in the practice facility, but uh, just to play in front of everybody and um, just to feel the energy is something different than <clears throat> obviously um, sitting at home and coming in early and rehabbing every morning and trying to get back to playing and catch rhythm, but it was a good feeling. How much of the, how well you played tonight was just a tribute to the work that you had put in to get all the way back after missing so much time? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I just really thank the people that <clears throat> helped me, um, family, the rookies, being able to get some good bump against them, um, coaches, just keeping the mind right, and um, obviously the, the training staff um, being able to give me a, a, a good plan and us execute it to get to this point. Seems like your guys are really obviously happy to be, have you back out there. Do you feel just how much they need you and 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 what they expect of you when you get out there? Um, I wouldn't say just need me, but I, I feel like I bring a presence that um, is infectious. So I guess uh, that's something that um, played a benefit <clears throat> when I'm um, able to play. But for the most part, the most important thing was getting the W. Um, wasn't really worried about my shots or anything. I think I took zero shots the first half, um, threes wise. Uh, but just getting the dub was the most important thing. Right. Yeah, is there anything with coming back to be obviously it's gonna be you, but like tone wise, anything you wanna wanted to set, I guess, coming back? Uh, I mean everybody knows what I bring to the table. Um just continue to be myself, that's all I know how to do. What do you think is starting to maybe turn for this team right now? Um we may you gotta you gotta think about it. We got a new team from the beginning, so we're trying to figure some things out. <clears throat> then um, injuries happened. Uh, that's no excuse, obviously, but that just puts us in a in a, in a tough position um, as an organization. And uh, when you got guys in and out trying to figure out lineups, it can kind of mess with the chemistry a little bit. So it's harder to gain. But when everybody's back, um, I think the camaraderie and the chemistry will be even at a more time high. But um, I also think that going through these situations with injuries and, and, and that six-game losing streak that we experienced, it, it kind of helped us as well, um, especially for the young guys being able to go through adversity, see what it feels like to, to lose and, um, and not want that feeling again. Torn, you've been on a, a few different teams, had a few different roles. Do you particularly – enjoy the role that you have on this team? It's kind of been similar last season and this season, whether it be when you're playing or also as I think a role kind of extends to being a veteran as well. It, does, does that seem to fit you from your perspective? Yeah, um, I'm, I definitely like my role on this team. Um, I've embraced it, <clears throat> which um, can be hard to do at times, but uh, it, it's it's easy when you, when you come to work with a bunch of guys like the ones I have as teammates. and. Um, uh, make no mistake about it, I want to be out there on the floor and uh, be able to help my team win. But when I am off, um, I don't like to pout or, or do anything that's negative that may uh, fall in the uh, lap of the young guys or let any of them see that. So I'm uh, just trying to be that leader on and off the floor as best as I can and um, just translate to life. Last season in, in January, this team really turned and, and, and moved in a completely different direction mm -hmm. for, for the good. What is what are some key areas that will be key to making that happen this year with this team? Uh, continue to do the little things. <clears throat> All the big things we want and uh, strive for um, are impossible without the little things and, and, and coming in day by day and, and making sure that we're getting better and, and knowing what we're doing and game plan wise and not giving up rebounds like we like we have. We still <laughs> got to get better at that. But um, We'll be all right. It's all everybody figuring out. As long as we play hard, um, know what we want to make the defense do, and know how we want to play offensively, and give ourselves the best chance. That's all you can ask for. Where's this team's level of confidence when the ball is in Ant's hands, particularly late in games? Uh, I mean, I think we all know. Um, it's very high. Uh, his, his ability to score the ball is um, up there with the best of them in this league. Um, I've been around a lot of good players, Trey Young. Um, KD, Kyrie, and um, he's not, he's about right there, maybe even a little higher, um, depending on the situation. But uh, he's, a, he's a good player, and then we tell him that um, when it's five minutes left to go on the fourth, do you think we're going to feed off you? And he knows that. That's why he embraces it. He does what he does every fourth quarter. The modern NBA 
is become a, a league where an alpha score, a guy who's a run stopper, closer, whatever you want to call it, has become increasingly important. Mm -hmm. As a veteran, um, you obviously know that. It is enabling the best about Ant and covering the stuff that Ant leaves by the wayside as he goes in that alpha mode part of your role, do you think, and part of what slow-mo does, what you know Austin does, that kind of stuff? Yeah, 100%. I think, um, I mean, I, I can't tell Ant how to go score. Uh, he's he's doing shit that I could, uh, I mean, that I've never done um, in my career. But um, I can tell him to stay locked in on defense, make sure he's uh, staying locked in and getting stops with, like, the other four and just not falling asleep sometimes. And um, he's gotten better. And that's, like I said, that's all you can ask for is progression from a player. Um, no excuse. The age, who, who cares about any of that? It's time to really make that jump. He's in his third year, so I think he's doing pretty well, and the sky's the limit for that kid. Torian, how was the, the rehab process for you? I'm, initially, we heard one to two weeks you'll be back, and it took a lot longer than that. Was it just something where it was worse than they thought, or, or how, how was that process? What was that process like? Um, up every day, 7.45 in the morning, um, getting rehab, getting my lift in. <clears throat> I've been through this with my ankle, yeah. so um, it really wasn't. This was, was easy. Uh, I went through surgery with my ankle, so it was just a matter of just making sure I stay consistent with my work and um, just trying to get back as fast as possible. As far as the timing, um, I'd rather keep that between us and the organization. We obviously thought it would be um, something, but it was something else, but uh, that's really irrelevant. I'm back now, so we good money. How did you? How have you seen this team deal with that adversity of the six-game losing streak? Because it seemed like there were some moments after that Saturday game where, you know, things were said, aired out. Um, how how has this team dealt with that and rebounded here these last two games? Um, I don't know. If it was aired out, but um, as far as dealing with adversity, I think every team. I, I was talking to J Mac about this. Um, Ever since being in college, I've always went through some type of adversity every season. Um, so it, I think I think it just comes with the territory. It's hard, it's hard to win ball games in the NBA. So um, I don't think we take that for granted. I think it's just a whole collective group trying to figure out how to um, coexist between each other and try to get as many wins as possible. TP, coming off of this this two game winning streak, you got a lot of games coming up against some really good teams. Just what are the most important things for you to, to preach and back up on the floor now that now that you're back and, and that you want to see the team continue to, to focus on moving forward here? Uh, knowing what we want to do before we get in the game. <clears throat> knowing what we want to do defensively and off, offensively and, and executing as best as we can. And um, like I said before, just doing the little things. Not, no home run plays, just chipping away and um, finding a way to win ball games and not beat ourselves. Torn, you've always been a leader on this team. Is it? D does anything get easier for you in that regard when you are just on the floor every night, as opposed to when you're injured and trying to help guys through things vocally um, or verbally? Yeah, uh, you kind of you try to yell from the bench and try to help guys out and let them know what you see um, from your perspective. But when I'm out there, I can kind of, I mean, they hear me. I'm I'm yelling, uh, doing the most. So I think um, that does benefit the next guy when it. Uh, whether he knows or not to rotate, and I'm yelling at him to, uh, that I'm in the position I'm in, so be ready to get my back. So when you, when you got guys communicating at a high level, it's it's hard to to, to catch a defense slipping or catch a slagging. Thank you. Thanks. Thank y'all.